What does being Asian mean to you? <laughs> hmm, that's an interesting question. Being Asian means to me, we like to eat. <laughs> Love that answer. <laughs> no, it's really the truth, yes. you know. Uh, and I say that because my first show where it was all Asian American at the public theater with Tai Ma and John Lone, and we'd go to Chinatown and the, the, t the dishes would come and before the dish hit the table, the chopsticks were there and it was empty. Yep. So that's actors for you. Yep. So that's in part what Asian being, uh, means to me. I think it also means um, hardworking, disciplined. Mm. I mean, that's what I got from my family, my parents, and, uh, and I'm really proud of that, you know? And I, I don't know, what else? Um, that we're, we're kind of in now. Absolutely, we, we've always been in, but people realize we're yeah. in. Yeah, no, we thought we were in. <laughs> they didn't quite get it yet. understand. So yeah. I think that that, for me, I'm so happy, especially because I've been doing this for a long time. So for a generation like yours, and the next generation, I think it's so much easier. So I'm so happy about that. Um, so for tonight, we were at the Unforgettable Gala. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to tonight? Or, you know, who are you looking to see tonight? I don't know. I mean, I see everybody all the time, yeah. you know, and it's always uh, sort of fun to who shows up. And yeah. It's different every year, right? Isn't it? It is, yeah. I mean, same people, but also not so same people. I noticed that this year specifically, there's just like a lot of people that I don't even recognize, not because they're not doing great things, but because there's just so much happening. And I was like, as I was researching, I was like, oh my gosh, this show came out. I haven't seen it yet. This show came out. This movie came out. I know, I'm the same way. There's so much content now. So much. You're like, I'm sorry, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> right, like five years ago, we could like watch everything in one night, you know? Maybe not one, five, five years, maybe 20 years oh, ago. Oh gosh. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a lot more opportunity. And, but you know, in part because of events like this and the community coming together. Mm -hmm. And I do, I do really feel that much, much more now than it ever was. Sure. So, because, you know, we're out there yeah. and doing it. Um, so the theme for tonight is Illuminate. 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 So um, the question that I was prompted to ask you, which I'm like embarrassed by the quarantine of it, but <laughs> who has illuminated a path for you? Illuminated a path for me? Yes. Oh, gosh. You know, they're so old that you won't know who they are. That's okay. Pat Suzuki from Flower Drum Song. Do you know I, who I, that is? I'm sorry, I do not. I'm not. Okay, well, but please was, tell me. She was the original Linda Lowe on the first Broadway production of Flower Drum Song. Wow. I grew up watching her when I was a little teeny kid. Um, my parents, who were vaudevillians and, you know, were on the Ed Sullivan show and started this business a long, long time ago. And I don't know, who else? Um, you know, George Takei and... Um, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's interesting. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. Um, it really has. It really has. Um, and speaking of that, this past year, was there a moment that you felt, you know, really proud to be Asian? W were there moments that you would, you know, special nights like tonight? You know, could be one of them. <laughs> the World Cup, things like that. I don't know. Well, a the movie? World Cup. Yeah, I mean, Korea, <laughs> they didn't make it very far, but. No. Um, well, you know, I actually am very proud of my friend Janet Yang for becoming um, the first Asian American president of the Motion Picture Academy. Wow, yeah. And um, that was quite a moment. And actually, you probably don't know this, and I'm not trying to shine my shoes, <laughs> but I'm also now the president of SAG after Los Angeles. Wait, I did see the announcement, and it's um, con congratulations. Well, thanks. But you know, I think the fact that we're now um, running things—that's right—in part, and I have a great partner in our uh, president, Fran Drescher, because we're both girls from Queens. <laughs> so don't screw around with us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Copy that. Copy that. So um, it's really nice to be representing in that way and helping my members and also I'm also an Academy member and to see how we are influencing things on the inside and that doesn't happen and that hasn't happened in a very long time. 
absolutely. You know. Lastly, I'll just I'm just gonna say thank you, thank you, and uh, I am I, I I make food content actually. I'm a I'm a food show host. So and you like my answer? I, what I that's said. what I was saying. I was I love that answer. And I didn't know that about him. No.